Hey everyone, it's up North Collectors here. We are opening up 2020 US Olympic and Paralympic Team Hopefuls. This is a hobby box. Obviously it's the year 2021. Don't think you've gone back in time. Uh, but this is uh, the 2020, because obviously that was the year the Olympics were supposed to happen, but due to COVID, it is now 2021. But Tops obviously did not update their box. Yeah, I don't even know if they're calling them the twenty like the for the Euro they called it the for yeah, the soccer the tournament it was the twenty twenty uh, Euro. So I think it is still a twenty twenty Olympics, just like the Euro, because they don't want to get the years all discombobulated. Yeah, so there's twenty four packs, eight cards per pack. They did definitely did not make much of this stuff, uh, <clears throat> which is really interesting. It's a seventy six card set, which is really small for any set. I mean, yeah, seventy six cards, cards is almost yeah. nothing. Um, and it's a, only a 23 card autograph set, I believe, for the, just the regular autos. So, and it seems like on eBay, all of the autographs are selling quite well. You're yeah. guaranteed three hits in here. I don't think they made much because Chase at the dugout, who we got this from for a good deal, he said he only was able to get six boxes in. I wanted to get two boxes. He was like, hey, sorry, I can only sell one. I said, hey, no problem, totally understand. Uh, but that shows you the limit, and he usually gets a bunch of stuff from top. So um, be interesting to see what we get out of this and how many doubles we get. Because we opened up a couple blaster boxes off camera, and the doubles came out of the stuff like crazy. Yes, which I think there's a thick card in here. So maybe there's got, only like two cards in this pack. Maybe you got a hit right off the bat. Got Bryce Hopple and... I see the name, Robbie Hummel. There's a bronze, David Bodia. I recognize him. Yeah, David Bodia. He's a um, diver. Diver, yep. Three-on-three -three basketball relic. Interesting. Cool. Robbie Hummel. Three-on-three, -three, that's one of the new uh, sports events added this year. Every year the Olympics try something new. Some of it sticks, some of it doesn't. Um been yeah, watching the Olympics since I was a little kid, 1980. That's right, folks. 1980, I actually remember when the U.S. team beat Russia. That's how old I am. Carissa Moore. She sells Yeah, really she well. sells, like, I was looking at, I was just wondering, because I don't know half of these people. Uh, another very interesting conversation that I'll talk about in a minute, but... Nigel Houston, I do know that. He is a really, really big name in skateboarding, kind of like the Tony Hawk of my generation. Skateboarding is actually quite fun to watch in the Olympics. It is. And there's a cool U.S. Olympic heroes, Megan Rapino. So she's another one that you're kind of looking for in here, autograph-wise. You are guaranteed one auto per box. Yep, and so. two other hits. So one of them, obviously, we already pulled. but Correct. We might get two autos. You never know. I highly doubt it, but... So I was listening to a Gary... That's a, wait, that's a cool Yeah, picture. Ryan Murphy doing backstroke. Yeah, that's, that's sweet. Cool. Listening to a Gary V podcast, one that he was on the other day. Uh, he's doing a new series. There's a nice Alex Morgan, Christopher Blevins mountain bike, Steel Johnson, and a bronze Cream Maddox. Is that three on three, too? Yep, three on yeah. three basketball. And then for pride and country, Lily King. Uh, one other quick side note before I tell the story is that... Um, they can't. I don't think they can have the NBA players in here. I don't think they have the NBA I want it, Players yeah. Association license, so they can't put those guys in. I right, would assume they, so. But yeah, they don't have. Yeah. Anyway, right. they don't have the Panini license. So he has this new show called Props and Drops uh, with the DraftKings CEO, and was talking about how NBC and the U.S. in general does a terrible job in marketing their Olympic athletes. Yeah, terrible. And they're talking about it, and I was like, I never really thought about this before. But how many of these guy people do you know going into the Olympics that will be competing? A lot of countries, it's a massive deal right. for your, yeah. your country's Olympic athletes. I mean, they're superstar celebrities. Here, I mean, Michael Phelps, you know that name. He's not competing. So this, okay, new to the games, Monica Abbott, softball. That's another new one, softball. Yeah, no, that is so but, true. But, I mean, yeah. you don't, I don't know any of these people. No. Most people have no idea who these people no. are. Unless you follow these sports that are not as popular, it's very hard to even follow some of these sports without, like, digging deep in the Internet. Um you know, obviously, if you have ESPN, whatever, track and field, I mean... Yeah, exactly, like, but... How are you going to even watch any of this stuff? Um, and obviously, like, fencing, 
I mean, I don't yeah, know. I mean, it's very obscure, but even just like the big stuff, like you know, the skateboarding. I mean, Nigel Houston is marketed a little bit more because he has deals with. I think he has a deal with Nike, maybe, but right. I mean, most of these people you just would never know. No, back so. back in the day when I was a youngster, um, that was marketed very well. You knew who Carl Lewis was. You knew who Mary Lou Retton was. You knew who the big swimmers were, the divers, the Greg Louganis's, all these guys going way back. Um, it was very easy to know them even before the Olympics started. Now, oh, oh there's, there's our the autograph. Auto. Vashti Cunningham. Now I do know this girl. Uh, she is quite the track and field athlete. So that's pretty cool. That's nice. And that I'm, is I'm, out of fifty. Wow. So silver. That's cool. I'm glad we got a um, track and field athlete. That's cool. Yeah, the daughter of a pro football player, high level ballerina on her pro circuit for four years. Personal best jump of one point nine nine meters. So a high jumper, as you can kind of tell just by looking at her. She looks yeah, like a distance runner build. or a high jumper. Yeah. But yep. That's cool. And surfing, new to the games. And this numbered card is out of 299. Yeah, but I mean, the Olympics now, you just is don't that, hear anything about it. Is that one of those American flag Yeah, the flag, the flag ones, ones yeah. yep. No, right, yeah. It's like yeah, it's like in the shadows of everything. It's weird. Just pretty sad because the Olympics are pretty fun to watch. So. Well, and then of course the country's gone through this whole, you know, revisionist history stuff and so maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know, but Brady Ellison, Archery Bronze and for Pride and Country. Monica Abbott, it's like that's like the third or fourth Monica Abbott yeah. card pulled. Yeah, I don't know. It's yeah, it's weird. But I, I think it's I don't think it's so much to do with politics. I think it's more to do with bad marketing in general or well, something. NBC, or, NBC in general, I mean, look at, like, hockey. They just got rid of their hockey contract. They're not doing that anymore. They haven't yeah. really done a good job with that either. So, <laughs> nope. Osterman, Bronze, and Well, Cox and then again. also, who are the sponsors, you know? Like, the companies that sponsor yeah, stuff. Yeah, I don't, stuff, but I don't, I don't know. know. Well, it'll be interesting because it's in Tokyo this year, and... Obviously, the U.S. usually does very well, but um, we'll see. I assume a lot of things they will dominate in, especially like softball. There she is again, Monica Abbott and Simone Manuel yeah. swimming. That's how that's how Silver. small the checklist is. Yeah, it's tiny. I mean, seventy six cards, and you got eight times twenty four comes out to a number. Uh, hundred and sixty. 32, 192 cards, maybe. Mm -hmm. I did my math right. It's a lot of cards. So you should get at least uh, doubles, I mean, of every yeah. card, if, if the collation's right. Beach volleyball. Beach volleyball is actually pretty fun to watch. That's I, a 299 one. Yep, star. it's 299 archery. They do seem like they're on kind of late this year, the Olympics. I remember them being on more in like yeah. now. I feel like they are a little bit late, but, but I don't maybe know. not. Maybe they're maybe this is when they usually play them. Actually, you know what? I think they do. This is usually about the time. Rapino, Michael, Andrew, Maddox, Lily King. I like the bathing suit. That's cool. Catherine Nye, weightlifting, silver. There are not many parallels in the set. No, so to go off of that note, there's the foil fracture, which I believe is a one of one, yeah, and the fracture, U.S. flag, and the gold, which I think the gold's numbered, but I don't the know. The bronze sure. and the silver are not. If the gold's not numbered, it's just one of those, like, it's hard to pull type and of And it's things. hard to tell probably a gold from a bronze, maybe? I don't know. Eh, I don't think so. Maybe not. There's a silver. Another Jessica Beard silver, and another softball. There's a lot of softball ones. Oh, well, yeah, softball, so, big team. Did right. I put these two in the back? I think those are on my pile. Um, I don't know. All right, let's see what we got out of the second half. We got one more hit coming, so. Um, yeah, actually, fun fun break to do introduce ourselves to some of these um, Olympic athletes. Our family always will watch quite a bit of Olympics, at least we have historically, which has always been kind of a fun family thing to do. Um, and you do get exposed to a lot of different sports, a lot of stories. Um, it's uh, definitely a fun time of year when you can watch either the winter or the summer Olympics. I want to see that Bryce Hopple. I don't recognize I watched some of the track and field, at least the highlights of the track and field um Olympic trials and I don't remember Bryce Hopple's name so 800 meter yeah that yeah even the trials are fun um did they do them in Oregon this year where they do the track and field at the Nike 
complex. Uh, they did some of them in Oregon, I think. Yeah. I don't know where all of them were located, but... There he is, Bryce Hopple again. Lily King, I remember her from last year, and then David I think Bodai. He, yeah, he definitely won a medal at diving as he's holding yeah. it in the picture. But. Obviously, Matt Grievers, he's a good swimmer. Silver, parallel. All right. Looking for that last hit here. Yeah, it's too bad they can't have any of the soccer guys either because the U.S. didn't make the Olympics. Yeah, that's really sad. It is a bummer, but... By the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do hit that thumbs up button as well. Um, and let us know in the comments what you think of this product. Obviously, you're going to get a lot of doubles. Um, bronze there. And is there something behind it? No, it just felt like there was. What is karate. this? Karate. Taekwondo. Taekwondo. Uh, martial One arts. So let's call it martial arts. Yeah, there's definitely some interesting Olympic events. You know, ping pong is ping pong, actually fairly entertaining. Badminton. All um, kinds of different stuff. Field hockey. Is field hockey still a sport? They, they got so. rid of a lot of them. Eh, maybe it's not anymore. Yeah. Uh, baseball, they were done. Did they get rid of baseball, didn't they? I think so, I think yeah. they got rid of baseball. But they still have softball, so that's kind of interesting. Well, they added softball. That's oh, new. Yeah. I think. Definitely. And uh, obviously they still have soccer and basketball. Well, some of the stuff, I mean, like, you add baseball, you already know who's going to win. Pretty much. However, the World Classic, when they did that, that, that was year, fun. And they really, MLB really, like, pumped it up. That yeah. was a lot of fun to watch, actually. I that was really actually a lot that. of fun. There's Lily King. Because um, baseball is actually a little bit more, because it's so many of the players in the league are obviously Well, yeah, not Dominican American, and you know, Cuban and... Um, it was a lot Venezuela, of all those, yeah, all those countries that you don't really think a whole ton about. And then Japan, obviously. And Japan, had Taiwan, team. yeah. They're so. all big um, into baseball, so. Uh, but obviously other places are definitely not, don't even know. There he is, Sam. This nice one. He is quite popular. Yeah, he He's been in You know, I don't the think they have, they don't have a, uh, what's her face in here card. Simone Biles. Yeah, she's yeah. not in here. So no. some of the, some of the inclusions, I kind of wonder if there's some of these aspects. Those private like licenses. Exclusive licensing yeah, I'm deals. Sure. I'm sure. Um, with different companies, which is what I'm guessing, because some of them obviously don't, but I don't know. It's interesting. April Ross, the Lily King. There she is, the one we pulled the autograph of, Vashti. And... Rugby. Rugby. Cool. Rugby's fun to watch. Yeah, rugby is actually really fun to watch. When they had the rugby, it was out last summer, I think, they had the Rugby World Cup on. Yeah, that is and fun And I to watched watch. some of that, and it was pretty entertaining. That and Australian football. Australian football is fun to watch, too. Never seen Australian Australian football. football is cool. When I was a kid, they used to have it on on weird hours, like Saturday mornings or something wacky. Probably because that was prime time in Australia. And I was like, what is this? And it was actually quite cool. There's another, another rugby. rugby. Silver. There's a Jordan Burroughs wrestling. I'm I think this is see. our relic here. Yeah, it feels a little thicker. thicker. Yeah. Yep. Congratulations. Swimming. Swimming. So let's get to it here. Let's see if it is a relic. See if it's a, com a commemorative patch or if it's an actual relic. It's an actual relic. That's it's an actual cool. relic. That's cool. Interesting. I the think she's. Super nice looking, isn't she supposed to be really good? I think so at something. I think at swimming, but well, what, no, swimming, what event but I think though? She. I can't remember. Let us know in the comments what event is Simone Manuel good at. What is her strongest event? Because I don't know. I just remember, I thought I saw something on her as being uh, very competitive <clears throat> in the world, obviously. Not just in the U.S. team, but I could be wrong. I might be thinking of somebody else. Yeah, so honestly, this is a pretty fun product. I mean, I, the base cards is a little bit annoying just because it's so repetitive. Yeah, it is just a little but repetitive. But the autographs and hits are cool. So. Yeah. And it's fun to watch these guys. That might be a gold right there. Oh, no, no, it's bronze. It's bronze. Yeah, the backgrounds bronze. look different. Got a lot of bronze. I do wish they did. It'd be really one. cool if they made like a chrome set or just did something else. They like gotta make, yeah. They gotta do something. They gotta else, spice it, like, it up but, a little bit. Uh, 
It is a little bland, in my opinion. It's, I like the autograph and the relics are okay, but to me, the rest of the stuff with only that amount of cards, it's very um, boring. Chrome Olympics would be interesting. Chrome Olympics would be sweet. That would be cool. Or like Topps Finest, U.S. Olympic hopefuls, that'd be interesting, too. Stuff like that would be cool. And here's another bra. Look at that. That's cool. Canoe. Canoe Slalom. That's actually fun to watch. If you've never watched Canoe Slalom, it's actually quite cool. Here. All right, let's see. They go down like this. I've seen it. Yeah, they set go down up like obstacle set up, course yeah, almost thing. Weird. It's not an obstacle course, but it kind of looks like that. No, it was really obscure Olympic sports. Yeah, canoeing, right? Not just canoeing. Oh, look at canoeing, canoe slalom. And of course, you have um, rowing. Yeah, you know the team rowing. Team rowing. That's like a collegiate sport, you know. Like so, a, oh yeah, I don't know. I know. But it's a, I don't think canoe slalom is. This is like a parallel. Different pictures. What the heck is that? I don't know. Just different. That's weird. I'm assuming they're the same person. They Were there other ones person. like that? We just weren't paying attention? I don't think so. Look at this. Maggie Steffens is like... I'm surprised that's not a Maggie Steffens. This is a 299 parallel of her. Olympic pedigree. Weird. We kept pulling that Abbott. They're different. They're different card numbers, so... Yeah. But the Abbott's all look the same, so... We kept pulling that Abbott. Anyway... Um. Yeah. Anyways, there's another one of these archery school. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We got the one autograph as guaranteed by Tops and the two relics, so everything turned out that way. Um, let us know what you think in the comments below of this product. Are you looking forward to watching the Olympics? Uh, have you watched them in the past? What's your favorite sport to watch? And what athletes did we totally not get that we should have said these are the best? Olympic hopefuls for the U.S. Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have fun collecting.